What's going on? Uh, she's in hepatic failure. Medical history? Uh, hep C, meth addiction, and uh, she's been trying to get clean. Okay, what happened? Uh, hey, guys, I come I on. I don't know. She's been unresponsible. Let's get her please. on the gurney. Come on. Help her, please. Okay, we're going to take her into room one. Stat. Are you her doctor? Uh, no, I'm, I'm her landlord. Okay. A friend. Um, her name is Alice. All right, nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. Alice. My name is Dr. Fredericks. Can you hear me? Alice. Come on, let's get those fluids going. Come on, Alice, stay with us. Let's get those fluids going. Check that pulse. You're gonna be okay. Do you mind? We're uh, celebrating. Great. What are we celebrating? Our uh, anniversary. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Quick, clever. Hey, you know what? You should write a copy. Thank you. Whiskey, top shelf meat. Damn it, you look great. So do you. Don't lie. Stop it. 
Could you maybe, for once in your life, just look like crap so I don't mm. always have to look like the before picture? Sweetie, if I had been through what you've been through, seriously, you look great. I'm gonna be fine. Here's to putting everything behind you. Hi, I'm calling about the room for rent. Hi, Dr. Thomason, I'm Nicole. We spoke on the- I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me? I meant to take that ad down months ago. I don't want another roommate. But, I, I'm we, sorry I disappointed we, we you. We just spoke about this. I know. And you sounded very nice on the phone, but I just didn't want to disappoint you. That's... So, wait, so, so you just let me drive all the way over here? I'm very sorry. <sighs> I, I'm, are you okay? I'm fine. Let me get you water. My doctor said I would still feel a little fatigue. Radiation? Yeah. Well, I have to be out of my apartment by the weekend, so better keep looking. Do you still want to see the room? Sure. You are welcome to change the decor. Oh, most of my stuff will be in storage anyway. I like it. It's homey. Well, I want it to feel like home. <laughs> Come on. Oh, is that another tenant? No, it's um, just a place I use for storage. It's just you and I. You want a cup of tea? Sure. So, funds are a little tight at the moment. Medical debt completely wiped me out, but I can give you first and last. I'm waiting on a settlement check. Uh, it should be here any day now, and then money won't be an issue. In fact, I'll probably get my own place again after that. I'm guessing we're both looking at this as a short-term thing. Settlement. My doctor missed the cancer. So, what kind of medicine do you practice? I'm retired. Really? Yeah. You do not look old enough to be retired. Yeah. Well, there are some other reasons. Are you working any place right now? No, I was, but I had to take too much time off for the radiation, so they let me go. I have other references, though. It's not that. What, then? What is wrong with this world? Why don't people help one another anymore? Is that what made you change your mind? Yes, you're going through so much. And all you need is someone to give you a break. Thank you. Are you all right? I, I, I heard you crying. What? Oh, um... I'm sorry, I must have been dreaming. Do you need me to get you something? No, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm so sorry if I woke you. Oh, no, it's no problem. Remember, I'm just right down the hall.
Thank you, Maria. No problem. See you next week, Mrs. Thomason. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning, or should I say good afternoon? You know what? I want to show you something before you go have your coffee. So, I want to show you where the spare key is. Oh, it's right there. Just in case you get locked out or you lose your keys. That's <laughs> very kind of you, Dr. Thompson. Thank you. Please call me Julie. Julie. <laughs> right. I must admit I've had to use that on occasion. <laughs> you OK? Hey. Hey. Thanks. Right, you've got some other stuff, too. I know. You could come by. You could borrow that. Hi. Um, you should come by sometime. My ex, Kyle. I kept some of my stuff over at his place. Was it a bad breakup? Guess you could say that. Did he hit you? What? No. God, no. Oh. No, nothing, nothing like that. Okay, okay. I'm relieved to hear that. It's just men can be so unpredictable. Have you seen Downton Abbey? No, but I've always wanted to. Well, I am on the second season. It is divine. Come on up here and I'll, uh, I'll get you all caught up. Oh, I think you're gonna really like it. It's at 12 noon. Why didn't you tell me about this yesterday? I could have rescheduled the meeting. So you can't make it? You know I can't. Maybe I can reschedule the meeting. No, you know what? Don't don't worry about it. It's my fault. I didn't tell you. I'll just call you about it later. Nicole, I. Hello. Come on. God, are you kidding me? Dead battery? My appointment's at noon. Let me take you. No, no, you're you're busy. I nonsense. I can take you. What is it? I thought Lauren was gonna come with me. You need a hand to hold? So, how's the redness? Uh, it's, it's a lot better. And the fatigue? I'm definitely getting my energy back, but I'm still having a little bit of trouble sleeping at night. It, it looks like I can't refill that prescription for another seven days. Have you been taking it as directed? Mm-hmm. Then you should have plenty to last. Avoid caffeine late in the day and no sugar at night. But the radiation went well, right? Well, it's much too soon to be definitive. It's a complex process, which I don't expect you to understand. Excuse me, Dr. Pensler. I'm sorry. I'm sure Nicole is happy to hear about your expertise. Look, Mrs. Dr. Thomason. We as doctors, we look at charts and statistics, and we forget that there is a person behind all that data. And she's sitting right here. Fighting cancer means victory in every stage. She just finished radiation, and already her side effects are subsiding. 
She deserves peace of mind knowing that she's on the right course, and so do you. You're helping your patient beat cancer. To surviving. Cheers. This lasagna is delicious. Mm, thank you. It's my grandmother's recipe. Delicious. Oh, I forgot to call Lauren. Phones should be banned at the dinner table. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's not just you. I see it at parks, restaurants. Everybody's just staring at their phones. Nobody's actually connecting. You are 100% right. I can't argue with that. What attracted you to Kyle? Oh, um, he was cute, sweet, exciting. Where was he during your cancer treatment? You get sick and he leaves. It's complicated. First sign of trouble, they are always gone. You know, Kyle's really trying to work things out. Sure. When the worst is behind you. When Emily got sick, do you think my ex-husband was there to see her? Emily? My, uh, our daughter. No. My ex has a shiny new family now. I'm really sorry. Is Emily okay now? That man is so despicable. I think you can do better than Kyle. Want some tea? Sure. Sorry if I woke you up last night. Oh, no, not, not at all. It's my friend Patricia. I had to talk her off the ledge. She's a bit dramatic. <laughs> she has this great little uh, antique shop. Her assistant just quit unexpectedly, so she's been scrambling around trying to do everything herself. Oh, well, that's too bad. Yeah, I mean, if you ask Patricia, it's the end of the world. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it, it could feel that way in the moment. Anyway. First world problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you need a part-time job? Uh, Just until your settlement comes in. Yeah, sure. What, what did you have in mind? Oh, you mean Patricia? Two birds, one stone, yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Ready to go? Yeah. Um, there was a guy hanging around outside. Maybe you noticed my no soliciting sign. Who knew it worked? I, I wanted to tell you something. Okay. My daughter, Emily, died. Oh my God, Julie. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was three years ago and she was only 22. 
I am so sorry. You asked yesterday, and I should have told you. No, I understand. All right, come on, let's go get you that paycheck. <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh hi. hi! You must be Nicole. Oh, Patricia, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for doing this. Well, thank you. You're getting me out of a tight spot. Oh, I just love it when things come together. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely place. Such great pieces. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, Patricia's excellent taste, especially in France. <laughs> Glad I could make this happen. Don't screw it up. <laughs> she loves her little jokes. How long have you two been friends? Oh, my. Forever, it seems like. Yeah, I have one of those, too. They know where all the bodies are buried. <laughs> so, put me to work. You know, I've always been curious. About? Well, since Julie retired, and please don't tell her I asked this, but what does she do all day? asked me to bring this for you. Well, he said you won't go see him, so. Oh, uh, this is Julie. Hi. Oh, Lauren, nice yeah. to meet you. My hands are full. Oh, I'm glad you could finally make it. I was beginning to think you were a miss. I'm gonna let you two catch up. Oh, do you need help with that? No, I got it. You know, I can see why Nicole has been raving about your house. It is absolutely gorgeous. You want to see the house? Yes. And this is it. Cute. I like it. A teddy bear? It was already there. Mm. Trey adorb. Jealous? <sighs> I mean, she is a little icy. Who, Julie? She's great. She's a doctor. They all have that air about them. Ah, that's what it is. I have a place to live and a job. Okay, she's a godsend. Well, most doctors think they're God, so it all comes full circle. You're terrible. Maybe you two can be besties. You know what? She put a hide key there for me, in case I ever get locked out. Oh, how sweet. Honestly, I think she just likes looking after people. She lost her daughter a few years ago. Oh, really? That sucks. All right, I'll shut up now. Thank you. So, Saturday. Yes. Dinner. Done. OK.
Well, I think that's it. Cool. If I left anything, just... Well, I'll climb up to your second story with it. Romeo, stop. You should have moved in. Oh, you used to have your keys, right? Yeah. Well, they're yours. Always. Kyle. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that I can be the man you deserve. Do you really want me to stop, Nick? I miss you, Nick. I miss you. I know. Stay. Okay. Please. I have to go. I I love you. a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. They make it too darn hot, don't they? Hey, Nicole left this at work. I thought she might need it. Oh, well, I'll give it to her. Okay, just gonna say hi. Ah, uh, I was about to have a glass of wine. Join me? Oh, it's a little early. I'm driving. Mm -hmm. Good point. I've never known you to hold your liquor. All right. I will have a glass or two. Good for you, Patty Cake. <laughs> <laughs> I trust uh, Nicole is working out well. Oh, she's a gem. I can't thank you enough. You know, she's a lot younger than Alice. I can't imagine Nicole staying for long. What did you tell Nicole about Alice? Nothing. I will pull the plug on you so fast. I, I didn't say anything, I swear. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Poor Henry. Can't afford a doctor's appointment and his pain medication. It all adds up so quickly. Yeah, it does. Um, if you ever need anything, you just let me know. You are a born caregiver. <laughs>
You like them? Beautiful. Oh, I have something for you. Hmm. Your first round of forwarded mail. Oh, great. No settlement check yet. Maybe next round. Oh, my friend Anastasia had her baby. A little girl. Uh -huh. Oh, this is always fun. What is that? My coworker from my old job, she always throws this huge party every fall. Damn it, it was last week. Well, that's too bad. I really could use it a night out. You know, me too. Why don't we? Okay, let's do it. All right. Thank you so much for coming out with me tonight. I I haven't done this in months. Mm. Do you ever get lonely? Mm. I did. I did. But not anymore. <laughs> Thank you. God, my apartment was so blah. <laughs> it's cramped. I hated my neighbors. They were so loud. Oh, I hated everything about it. Your home, it's like heaven. Oh, oh, oh no. I had to invite our BFF. Hi. 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 You look fantastic. You look fantastic. Hi. Hi. Honey. You guys need to catch up. Drinks right now. Oh, oh yeah. darn. I forgot my ID. So <laughs> don't worry about it. There's no age limit. Okay. <laughs> Here's your martini. Ah, uh, Chardonnay, please. Oh, I guess we're going. <laughs> I am in a great mood. I'm so happy for you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, come on, hon. Let loose. Have fun. You deserve it. All right. <laughs> Cheers. to see your shop. Oh. Nicole told me it's so lovely. Oh, please come. I'll give you the friends and family discount. Oh, good. Um, so what is Julie like? <gasps> I want you to take a good look around, huh? All these beautiful women, but no one quite like you. <laughs> mm -mm. You're very special, Nicole. Oh, you're too kind. Mm -mm, I'm serious. Remember that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's why it's just um, a little strange. What? Well, that Lauren thinks she's too good for you.
This must look strange to you. Sorry. Um, I, I really shouldn't be in here. I wish she could have known my Emily. That she came back home when she got sick. Her boyfriend dumped her. She had fair weather friends. And I think she finally realized that her mother's the only person she could count on. Oh, finally we bonded as I took care of her. And then she had worse. And when my Emily died, just something inside me, it just broke. And I quit medicine. How could I save lives when I couldn't save my own daughters? I'm so sorry. You know me like nobody else. Oh, I have this for you. Thank you. Um, I should probably go get ready. Kyle's picking me up soon. Ahoy! Is Nicole here? I'm expecting her any minute. Mind if I stick around? Would it matter if I did? Huh. Beautiful day. Did I see you throw a drink in a man's face? I don't know what you're talking about. You saying my eyes are playing tricks on me? Well, that can happen when you've had a dozen whiskeys. <laughs> you're very protective of Nicole, aren't you? A little too protective, wouldn't you say? I'd kill anyone who hurt Nicole. So would I. Hi. Hey. I didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, I just thought I would stop on in and see what you're doing tonight. Maybe we can head up the tavern later. I think we were actually just planning on staying in tonight. Oh, we were, huh? Don't be weird. Yeah, it's me that's the weird one. I had a really nice day. <laughs> Dinner this week, for sure. Okay. Hi. Did you have a good day? I did. I'm glad that we got to spend some time together. Awesome. I think they're screwing. What? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, just the vibe I get. I may be wrong. No, 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 no. They're, they're, they're just friends. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm picking up on. I know that you don't like Kyle. Or Lauren, for that matter. But, um, there's something you need to know. When I heard the word cancer, it was like the floor just dropped from under me. Kyle couldn't handle it. it scared the hell out of him. And I don't, I don't really know that it's fair to blame him for that. We hadn't been together for very long, and here I was, suddenly throwing life or death at him. He completely shut down. And when that happened, I stopped talking to Lauren. I was just... I don't know, I was so scared to just count on anyone again that I... shut her out. I figured it would be safer to just face it all on my own. 
You need to stop that talk right now. <laughs> I've let you think the worst of her. And the truth is, I'm actually the one who hasn't been a very good person. You know, I always thought my husband was the strongest, kindest man in the world. And then when our daughter got sick, he showed his true colors. Yeah, but Lauren wanted to be there for me. Yeah, but she would have let you down when the hard part started. They always do. They leave. You want to catch up another episode of Downton Abbey? I don't feel well. Oh, no. You want me to get you something? No, I just want to be alone, OK? Obviously, we can play this one, mm -hmm. or we can just flip it on them and pull 180, boom. Oh, yes! <laughs> That's brilliant, I love that. <laughs> yeah. So on Thursday, you have to bring this. We'll print it out, and we'll do a total print. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Some people have all the fun. Hey. Hi. Well, believe it or not, this is a uh, job interview. Yes, very formal. <laughs> well, the other day I told Kyle about an opening in my department. It's entry level, but. Yeah, but it'd be nice for me to get my foot in the door and... If I can get to the next level. It's great. I thought we were having lunch today. What makes you think we're not? Three's a crowd. Hey, I'll see you later. I'll have uh, HR reach out to you. See ya. <clears throat> this so what was so funny? Oh. Kyle did a uh, mock-up as a tryout, which was great. And then he did a parody of that, which was hilarious. Well, you know Kyle. Mm-hmm. By the way, hmm. I Googled Julie. What? Why? You didn't? No. There's something very off about that woman. OK. So you guys don't like each other? I asked her something, and I think she lied right to my face. You think? Well, I'm not 100% sure of what I saw, but... Sounds like a smoking gun to me. Fine. What did you find? So, <clears throat> divorced from James Thomason, contractor who lives in Anaheim, mm -hmm. graduated Harvard Medical School, was the prime suspect in a string of grisly murders. What? Yeah. Lauren! That's what it says no, right it here. Not. Stop it! <laughs> okay, fine. Everything but the last part. Obviously. But the truth is I couldn't find anything bad about her. Of course not. She's great. Maybe she's just really discreet. She doesn't have a basement, does she? You know what? I can't with you. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. I think that woman has a screw loose. And she's got a major girl crush on you. <laughs> OK, enough. I'm just saying, be careful, OK? That's all. Hungry? Please don't ever go into my room when I'm not home. What are you talking about? This. You moved it to my nightstand. I would never violate your space like that. Well, somebody did. It wasn't me. I promise. You know what? Maria was cleaning today. I will tell her to be more careful, put things back where they belong. But I have to say, and I'll tell you this in the strictest confidence, I think she's stealing from me. What? Yeah, I found a page missing from my prescription pad. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe I counted wrong. I forget I said anything. Hey, Nicole? You home? That's Kyle. I like the room. What's that? 
Nothing. Come here. <laughs> that tickles. I know. I remember. What do you want? To, to talk. Get out. I'm not here to hurt you. My name is Benjamin Keene. Get out. I need to talk to you about my sister Alice. Who? It's about how she died. What are you talking about? You're not safe in that house. Nicole, honey, what are we doing with these office supplies? <sighs> what was that all about? Is her name Alice? Alice? You know her? <sighs> Hello, Benjamin. You won't get away with it. I know what you did. You are a broken record, aren't you? You killed her. We both know the truth. Alice died of an overdose. Liar! I couldn't stop her destructive choices, Benjamin. You made her sick. No. no. Addiction is a bear. And you know this from personal experience. You're a cold bitch. I warned your new roommate. Hmm. Yeah, grief is tricky. You lash out. Blame the wrong people. I'm getting Alice's body exhumed. Do what you need to do to cope with the loss. You're wasting your time. Addiction killed her. And it could kill you. He blames me for Alice's death. And he's the one who got her hooked on drugs. I mean, her own brother. He would show up here from time to time, probably to score some meth. But I kept her far, far away from him. I was the only person she could count on. When she moved in last year, we just bonded so quickly. She has this beautiful spirit. She's my roommate, my best friend. I thought Patricia was your best friend. Mm, please, Patricia's an old friend, there's a difference. I knew that Alice was struggling with meth addiction when she moved in. So I thought I could, I could help her, be a good influence on her. And I was. And one day she, she just slipped back into it. She's been to rehab so many times. It's just, it's, Never been a success. But this time, she got hooked again. She begged me not to send her back. Begged me to help her detox. I made that room into a clinic so that I could monitor her vitals and hold her hand. And it worked for a while. I came home and she, uh, she was unconscious. And I rushed her to the hospital. But it was too late. Yeah. Cops found nothing amiss. And that is exactly what I told Benjamin. So that's her room that I'm living in? You know, I had to find out from Patricia about Alice. Why didn't you tell me any of this when I moved in? What was I supposed to say? 
That guy was following me. He scared me. I didn't know that. I am so sorry. You really should have told me about her. You're right. You're right. Best friends tell each other everything. That's... That's what it was for Alice and I. I need a minute with this. Oh. Uh. I'm heading to the grocery store. Do you need anything? No. Thank you. hell are you trying to do to me? June. Are you trying to turn Nicole against me? Please, this is my place of business. You have been so jealous of her ever since she moved in. Don't be ridiculous. You promised me. You promised you would never say anything about Alice. I had to. That man scared the hell out of poor you Nicole. You didn't have to say anything. Better watch your step or you will be very sorry. Hi. I really need to talk to you. It's kind of crazy right now, Nick. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> Listen to yourself. You sound like a petulant teenager. Are you serious right now? All I needed was some advice from my best friend. Yeah, I can't wait till after work. Sorry to interfere with your busy day. No, damn it. You don't get to do that. You get sick, and you push me away when I want to be there for you. The other day, you blew me off for Julie. And now you show up at my job and you expect me to be available to you when you suddenly decide that you need a friend. Whatever. I probably shouldn't have just shown up like that. People make time for what's important to them. No, no, that wasn't fair putting her on the spot like that. If you need an ear for your problems, I'm here. Kyle asked me to move in with him. Tea? Sure. And what did you tell him? That I don't know. That's no answer. I really don't know. Sure you do. See, when we say, I don't know, we're saying, I don't want to take responsibility. And that is no way to live. So I want you to picture a life with Kyle. And now I want you to picture a life without him. Which life do you want? This is new. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's from the garden. What the hell was this doing in your desk? What is Don't this? play dumb. It's my settlement check. I found it in your desk underneath your mail. 
I don't know what. Postmarked three weeks ago. Clearly, I put it in my mail by mistake. Not so clear to me. So what are you saying? I did this on purpose? Just like the party inviting. Get in time. You all right? Don't. Are you okay? Don't. Nicole. Oh. Oh. You're okay. Hey! I need your help! Nurse! What happened? Okay, she's been vomiting and she's nauseous. She, she's cancer. Chemo? Radiation. Okay. Are you family? I, I'm a landlord. Okay, okay. family only. Dr. Thompson. Hey. Thought that was you. What are you doing here? I work here. Are you all right? Patient Dr. Frederick to the ER. Patient Dr. Frederick. Hey. Hi. You were looking so much better, thank God. Blood work and x-rays came back completely normal. It's rare for nausea to be a side effect of radiation, but the doctor said it could happen. Yeah, well, cancer and cancer treatment. Two malevolent bitches that need to be kicked to the curb. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me in. Oh, of course. Of course. Listen. You don't need to say anything. No, I do, though. Mm -mm. It was wrong of me to accuse you of hiding my jacks. I felt terrible that it got lost in the shuffle. I kept an eye on it every day. I just, I got thoughtless, absent-minded. And you didn't even ask why I was looking in your desk in the first place. You know place. what? And I don't want to even know. I'm the one who stole the prescription. It's all right. No, it's not. I'm really, really sorry. Well, we both have been bad girls. <laughs> Kyle? What's wrong? <sighs> there is a crowd. Nick. You know, I was actually coming here to break up with you. I guess that's besides the point. This never happened before today. Oh, shit. It's the truth. You make me sick. Both of you. He's tried so hard to make it up to you, and you just keep pushing him away. And there you were, just waiting to grab him. Well, we have a lot in common. You don't need either one of us. I'm sorry, you screwed my boyfriend because I wouldn't share my cancer with you? We've changed so much, gone in totally different directions. But I am still here, Nicole. Julie was right. Oh, my God. We've changed so much as code for, I've outgrown your sorry ass, just admit it. Why are you doing this to you us? You think you're better than me. You are as messed up as Julie. Say it, you smug bitch! Okay. I am better than you, okay? I am successful and ambitious, and the only thing you've done right is get a settlement check from a medical malpractice. Happy? Get off of me! Let me go! Let me go! I think you should go. You didn't know that I was coming here to break up with Kyle. <sighs> For all you knew, I was coming to tell him I was ready to move in. I can't believe you did this.
Julie, um, I was thinking that maybe I could pick up some groceries and we could whip up a nice lunch. Okay. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking though. That's the thing. No, I know. I could do that all day all long. All day. It's so funny. Mm. Well. Mm. Hold on. Hi. What do you want? Is Nicole here? Yes. Nicole doesn't need people like you. Just tell her to stop by, please. You're such a slut and a liar. Tell her we need to talk. If you ever come here again, I'll kill you. Can't stay mad at me. You never could. <laughs> You're in a good mood. I am. <laughs> How about that? I'm happy. Wasn't it you who said I deserve to be? Let me make it up to you. Huh? Dinner at the Palm. <laughs> Threatened me. Oh, for heaven's sakes! You so touchy. Did you, did you ever even really like me? What? Of course I did. Really? Not just some old habit that's too hard to break. Oh, patty cakes. I adored you. My beautiful, brilliant friend. I was always so proud of you. I miss those times we had early on. I'm sure there's a part of me that'll even miss what we have now. Come on, you're being dramatic. You threatened me! You saved my store from bankruptcy, and I'll never forget that. So what, that's it? You're just giving up on us? You always did like to win. I think deep down, you were trying to push me away. So consider it a victory. Besides, who needs me with Nicole around? Oh my god, you're being so junior high school right now. She's Alice 2.0. What did you just say? You get to relive your time with Alice. You take that back. Now who's in junior high? You know what? Go ahead. Pull the plug. Revoke my lease. Close my store. I don't care anymore. I am tired of being under your thumb. Go and play doctor with Nicole. Actually, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's your time with Emily you're trying to relive. Patricia? Patty cakes. You are not gonna ruin this for me. Morning, Patricia. I got us some coffee. took her away. Yeah. I'm so sorry you had to deal with all this. What the hell was she doing up on that ladder? God only knows. I mean, that was the first thing she told me, was don't ever get up on that ladder when you're alone in the store. I know, it's terrible. I'm so sorry, Julie. 
I knew she was your friend. It's so tragic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go upstairs and clean up. Okay. Hey, Nicole. Yeah. Maybe later we could uh, make some dinner and catch up on an episode of Downton Abbey. Patricia just died. What the hell is wrong with you? to the grocery store. Do you need anything? Nope, I'm good. Thanks. I'm really sorry to hear about Patricia. She was a good lady. Yeah. Julie seems so cold about it. No. Julie, she bonds with people pretty intensely. She feels like that bond has been broken. She detaches just as intensely. So it killed our marriage. You left Julie. Yes, I did. And you abandoned Emily. I never abandoned my daughter. Julie turned Emily against me. All divorced dads say that as they're off with their new wives and shiny new families. Wow. You sound just like Julie. Look, I'm just, I'm trying to understand her. You know, we've become so close and now suddenly I feel like I don't even know her. You don't. She kept me from seeing my own daughter when she got sick. To be honest with you, I'm not really even sure what happened, Thimley. It's me. I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry about Julie. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could change it all. Call me. I miss you. Thank you. 
you sneaky bitch. You're home late. I was just running some errands. Uh, it's actually really good that you're here. I've been wanting to talk to you. About? I think maybe it would be best if I moved out. My checks come in. Neither one of us wanted this to be a long-term situation anyway. I'm happy to give you a few months extra rent. What happens when your cancer comes back? Who's gonna take care of you? Hello? Is this Nicole Turner? Yes, it is. This is Dr. Fredericks. I was there the day you came into the ER. Yes, I'm feeling much better now. I wanted to talk to you. Uh, this really isn't the best time. I, I think you need to hear this. On a hunch, I asked your doctor to run a talk screen that night. It came up positive. For what? Arsenic. Was that? Uh, it was uh, my oncologist. He needs me to come in right now. Why? For a uh, uh, cat scan. You're a lousy liar. The meals. The tea. You are poisoning me. How are you feeling? Hmm? <laughs> you need your rest. It's a little high, but don't worry. I'm right here. You were right. I am a born caregiver. Emily, Alice, you. It's what I was born to be. You know, when Emily got better, all she wanted to do was leave. And I couldn't let her destroy what we had built as a mother and daughter, that relationship we created, the bond, that bond that we shared. No one was gonna love her the way I did. Mm -mm. And I just, I just needed her sick enough to need me. No. Do not fight this. We are going to have a wonderful life together here. I'm going to take really good care of you. And I'm going to keep you safe from all the Laurens and the Kyles of the world. And all the people who are going to break your heart. I am going to protect you. Like I tried to with Emily and Alice. You're not a caregiver. You're a monster who preys on the sick. Don't worry about anything. You feel just a little woozy.
Nicole? Oh my God. Nicole! Let me in. Please don't be in. Let me in! Okay. You can't leave me. Everything's fine. Relax. You can relax. Who called you? Do you remember being on the phone with an ER doctor? Something about your conversation concerned him. It's gonna be all right, okay?